Last year, we saw a big growth in the new generation of note-taking apps like Rome Research, Remnote, and Obsidian. These so-called tools for thought are incredibly useful and allow you to study and create new ideas more efficiently. However, one thing that I miss sometimes is writing with my hand using a pen, which is something you can't do in most of the existing tools for thought. But now there is this new app called Muse that is taking a different approach from the other apps. My name is Shu and this is Muse, a new tool for deep thinking. In this channel, I talk a lot about apps and tools for studying, thinking, and building your second brain. And there are lots of amazing tools for thoughts like that, such as Rome Research, Ampernode, Remnode, and Obsidian. All of them are amazing tools that allow you to study new things and create new ideas much faster. However, something that I missed quite often is actually using, using a pen to draw and write. That's because some ideas are really hard to capture with just text, and they're really hard to explain with words. So in that case, drawing is a really great method. However, most of the tools for thought don't let you draw, and of course I could simply use pen and paper, but personally I'm not a huge fan of using paper because I almost always lose them. And there is drawing function in Rome Research too, but it still feels very basic. So for those people who miss using pen to draw, Muse might be a great tool for thought. I've been following this app for quite a long time now, and I finally got to try it in the past few weeks, and it's really cool. Unlike typical tools for thought like Rome and Remnoid that use bullet points to help you think, Muse lets you use Apple Pencil to draw your ideas on an infinite canvas. It's kind of like as if apps like GoodNotes and Notability had a baby with apps like Procreate and Concept. In my opinion, Muse feels like a combination of these two types of apps. I don't think this is something that can replace apps like Rome and Remnoid, but I think it's going to be a great complement to these tools and will be a great addition to your note-taking setup. Okay, so let's go through the basic of Muse really quickly. At the moment, Muse is available on iPad and when you install it, you are going to see this blank canvas. You can add a new board by dragging from the edge of the screen. If you tap on it, it will become another whole new canvas. Also, you can add other items too, such as photos and text, and files like PDF too, which is great for students and academics, because you can upload an academic paper or Muse, read it, and add some highlights. Another cool thing about Muse is that you can add any article, picture, video, tweet directly from your browser. So let's say you really like this article. You can select Muse from the share option and it will appear on your board as a card. Similarly, you can share a tweet too and it will be added on your board, which looks pretty neat. Now, like I said earlier, you can use your Apple Pencil and write on your canvas. You can undo by tapping the screen with two fingers and redo with three fingers, which is going to save lots of your time. The pen is of course customizable from the pencil toolkit menu. Finally, you have a eraser and selection tool, which you can use to move objects across your canvas. So that's the basic of how to use Muse. Now let's take a look at some of the practical use cases. I think some of the best use cases of this app is for brainstorming or mind mapping. A lot of people do a brainstorm on paper or on whiteboard. For instance, I saw Ali Abdal using a notebook for brainstorming a few weeks ago. You can use Muse exactly for that. In fact, I use it for thinking for ideas for this video too. It sure doesn't look pretty, but it got the job done to get good ideas out. Personally, this felt really good and refreshing since I'm used to brainstorming on computer like on Rome, which is just a bunch of bullet points. So being able to use a pen and a draw feels like so much more freedom. Another use case of Muse is for studying. To be honest, I was using Muse mainly for brainstorming ideas, but then I read this article on Super Organizer and how Dan Shipper, who is my favorite writer, uses Muse for studying. And I thought it was really cool. He likes to use pen when he's learning new things and he uses it for learning the media history and the books he reads. This is a great studying technique because I think drawing ideas is an effective way of breaking down information you consumed so it's easier to digest. Then you could use tools like Rome and Remino to make notes of the information after. 
Speaking of Roam Research, I use Muse as a complement to Roam. I usually have the Muse open on my desk and whenever I get a new idea that's hard to be described with words, I can pick up my Apple Pencil and draw it on Muse, which might be actually the fastest way to capture ideas. Like I said, Roam does have a drawing function, but it's still a bit rough, so using Muse with Roam is a great combination. And if you want, you can easily export this board to Roam too. Another thing I made in Muse is something like my Life Wiki. I think people love the idea of Life Wiki and many of them have their own on apps like Notion or Roam. Similarly, you can create one in Muse too. Mine is really basic, but I can see important things in my life like my interests, sketches I made and so on. Unlike the other apps, Muse is more intuitive, which means you can get to be more creative and it's really fun. So this is a few use cases that I thought of, but I think there are lots of more possible use cases of this app. As I said, I don't think this is a competitor to the existing tools for thought. Instead, I think this is going to be a great complement to them. For example, like in my case, I use different tools for thought for different purposes, like I use Roam, Ampunoid, and Muse too. Anyways, if you're interested, you can download Muse for free on iPad, and also I think you should read the article by Super Organizer if you want to know how other people use Muse. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!